Hello guys and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a quick tutorial about how to download the new beta as a mods launcher. So first thing we're going to do is go to the website beta.asamods.com. There'll be a link at the top of the video description. So you're going to see this page here. First thing you're going to do is click on this big red download button. Then so go ahead and click on save and then that's it. So once it's finished downloading, you can see the progress bar there. It's finished. I'm going to go to my computer, open up the downloads folder or wherever you download it to, and I'm just going to double click this thing here. It's going to come up with this, all you have to do is click on more info and then run NOA. So here we go, it's going to install the mod launcher. I uh, don't have to do anything, just have to wait for it to finish, and then it will be installed. Okay, the mod launcher just popped up, so it is in fact installed. So first thing first, you can see it says sign in for free to get more features. So you can click on sign in, and it's going to pop up this little window here. So if you do have an account, you can sign in. If you've linked your Google account, you can sign in with Google. I don't have an account, so I'm going to click on don't have an account, sign up. Um, so I'm going to type in my email address here, asa at azamediagroup.com. My username, it can be just asa46. My password, make your password, whatever you want. Uh, make sure you type the same both times. Click on the accept and then just register. So here we go, it says account created, please check your email to verify account. Okay, so I've gone ahead and gone into my email here and it says, welcome to the mod launcher, please click on this link or copy this verification code. So I can copy that link here and then just paste that in here as well, just like that and confirm account. So there we go, you've verified your account, awesome. So now all we have to do is sign in using the password we talked before, there we go. And we should be able to sign in. You are now signed into the Asimod launcher. You can close this window. Um, and it's, you can see it's already signed in here. So if you want to access some mods, some mods are not uh, member only. Some are elite only or silver only. So if you want to do that, you can click on manage linked accounts. And then you can see here, these are all the different tiers we have. So we have free, silver, gold, elite, insider, and the Mr. Beast tier, of course. If you're a Mr. Beast, buy this tier here. Okay, so now that we've gone ahead and made an account, We've become the member tier that we wanted, and verified and everything. Now all we're going to do is actually click on which game, game we want. So you can go back to games. Here's some of the games we have. So for example, I want a mod clone drone. I'm going to click on this clone drone mod here. And it says there's two mods available. So I can click on download mod. Click on download mod on this one as well. And there you go. We have two mods installed right now. So neither of these mods are enabled. So to enable a mod, all you have to do is click on that. And then all options will appear when the game is actually running. So if we run the game, more options will appear. So if we want to see what mods are actually available, all we got to do is go to the beta.asamods.com website. We can click on the mods tab here, and this shows you all the different mods that we have available. So there's also a list of games we support. So officially we only support Amazing Frog and Feed and Grow Fish now, but we are porting new games and old mods to the mod launcher. So this will update. There's going to be thousands of mods eventually, so stay tuned for more. So say we want to play the Feed and Grow Fish variety mod, we can click on this and it shows you about the mod. It's got a video about it, it's got some information about it. But all you want to do is go to, the, go to Mod Launcher, click on Download, Install, that is it. So now that we have this installed, all we're going to do is go to our Steam. We can go in our library, we can click Play on Clone Drone. Okay, so now that we've launched Clone Drone, there's something we've got to note here. It says there's a strong chance that the mods won't work in this game without a quick patch. If you close the game and press the following button, mods will work a lot better. So I've gone ahead and closed Clone Drone, as you can see down the bottom, it's not running. I can click the patch game button, and then that's it. Simple as that. So now if we run the game again, there's a much higher chance it'll actually work. So here we go. Let's go into game and test one of these mods out. Okay, I'm going to click on single player. We're going to go endless. Why not? Here we go. So if we go ahead, look inside here. It says we have 100 skill points, so if we look at this, we can change this to 55. Look in game, what's that? We have 55. We can also lock it using this padlock here. So if we do spend the point, it's going to stay stuck at 55. If this padlock isn't ticked, if I spend the point, it's going to go down. That's what that does. So we can also do unlock all skills, that unlocks everything. We also have the 360 deflection, so if we get hit by an arrow from anywhere, it will automatically get deflected away. Infinite energy as well, if we want to be able to, um, say if we buy the jetpack for example. Let's just buy the jetpack, uh, jetpack, fly forwards. So we have unlimited energy now, we can just hold jetpack like this, you can see it down the bottom. Infinite energy, same with a bow, you can shoot unlimited times. So if we want to make more clones, we click on create clone. 
You can see it just makes a new clone there for free. Obviously, we've got so many that it's kind of hard to make new ones. Um, say a level's too hard, for example. This level looks really hard. Let's just click on win level. There we go. We won the level. Okay, so another one I wanted to show you guys is the unlimited jumps and the movement speed. So I can just jump as much as I want right now. So this is basically, I can just fly. That's essentially what this is right now. And as you can see, my movement speed is pretty slow. So if I change this movement speed, I can now move really fast. So to actually make the movement speed take effect, you have to click on this little um, switch here. Otherwise, it will not be active. And I can change this number to be, say, two, 155. Now I go really fast. Look at that. Combine that with the unlimited jumps. And look at this. We're basically flying around at this stage, guys. Wow. How dare you? That was Get pretty cool. The Emperor, human. Okay, guys, so if we don't want to use a mod anymore, we can simply untick it like that. The mods are completely disabled. Or if you want to turn off all the mods really quickly, you can just click on this switch here. And that's as simple as that. We do have another little mod down here that's enabled for most games. It's called the Level Browser. So as you can see, there's two different levels for Clone Drone. We are not in the game, so we can't actually load the levels right now. But if the game was running, we would be able to click on these buttons and load different levels. So every game, every Unity game that we support will have different levels you can play. There's also logs here. If you get any errors or if you have any problems, it would be helpful if you guys could share your logs so we can see what exactly the problem is. Now, if you want to go ahead and make your own mods, there is actually an SDK right here. So you can simply click on create mod and you can make your own mods. We will make tutorials about how to make mods in the future. But for now, if you can figure that out, then you can make mods. But yeah, there will be tutorials in the future. Okay, guys, so if you click on the back to games button, you can see right here, there is an updates button. So it says our mod launcher is version 0.1.8. If uh, there is an update, it will automatically pop up a little window up the top that says there's an update available and you can click on apply update and then it'll restart. So you don't have to worry about updating too much, but if you're really concerned, you can click on check for update. You can see checking for update and we're up to date, so it doesn't really matter. Uh, if you wanna see your account, you can click on account. And obviously again, you can purchase more tiers here. Um, also, if you have a Patreon account, you can link your Patreon here. Um, so if you have a Patreon benefit tier, you can link it here and get the benefits. Or if you wanna link your Google account, so you can sign in with Google, that's available here as well. Um, so thank you guys for watching. If you have any questions, feel free to join our Discord server or post a uh, comment down below and we'll try and answer your questions. So thank you guys for watching and we'll see you in the next modded video.